So this is the reason why I'm personally uh, bearish on Ethereum. So as you can see, like post mid November, the charts of ETH has been looking pretty much bearish, continuously forming lower lows and lower highs. Now, after February, that is from the 1st of February, we saw that Ethereum managed to bounce from a level of around 2300 to 3300 marks. However, I personally feel that this looks somewhat like an MTOR formation. I'll just mark it out for you. So from here, it managed to pick up. Now from there, it dropped. Again, it is trying to pick up. Faces a rejection over here. And again, it is dropping. And I personally feel that after dropping from here, so by like 25th February, we can anticipate some sort of a drop towards the 2500 marks if this particular neckline is being taken out. Due to the very same reason, I personally have created some short position on ETH. Now, some of you would be asking like why I already entered into ETH uh, even before the neckline breakout has not yet happened. The reason is pretty simple. Uh, when I was just studying uh, ETH, when I was just studying the charts of ETH, so if the move is actually happening, that happens pretty much fast. And obviously, uh, it would be very difficult for you to enter if you're not in front of the screens with alerts or something. So our algos are still under development for auto entry. So due to the very same reason, we have actually took a position and now we are trading using options. Uh, we do option strategies in crypto in ETS and we are using the platform called uh, Delta Exchange. So I'll just show you that also. So we anticipate that by 25th February, the price could potentially come down to the 2600-2500 marks if this neckline is getting broken. Now, uh, if you come to this particular bro exchanges platform, not a broker's platform, you kind of come to this particular exchanges platform, uh, you'll be landing on the market page. And from there, one important point to be noted is that if you want, you can trade in futures. However, uh, we don't like trading in futures because you have to keep a stop and we can't do spreads. Now, if you click on the option section, just keep this point in your mind. Just make sure that you're selecting the right instrument first. Now, the second thing is whatever expiry date that you selected, that matches uh, the time when your view would be right. Okay. So I, I have communicated with some people, but most probably they will actually be trading the daily expiry. So every exchange, I, I don't know how many exchanges are providing option strategies, but as far as like the ones that I have personally dealt with, they have their daily exchange, uh, daily expiry. So just make sure you select some comfortable time for you to have your view becoming right. So 25 February is what we personally are interested in. Now 2800 strike is what we are keen on purchasing. So if you want to buy it, 2800 call option, just click on it. And something like this pops up. And straight away over here itself, you can actually enter the quantity you want to buy. So we have decided that per trade will take a risk of like $100. $100 is a risk that we take uh, in every single trade. That is what we have decided out for ourselves. In this particular case, uh, we have traded 200 quantity and the premium that we paid is like $126. So just keep this point in your mind. So $126, if the price goes against our view, we will actually collect a premium of like 30, 35 and reduce the loss to lesser than 100 anyway. However, if the breakdown is happening that we are anticipating to happen today itself, we really don't want to miss out. If we feel okay, Ethereum is like bouncing back, we'll actually convert this into a spread where we may be selling the 2500 put option or 2600 put option and we collect premium and then reduce the effective max loss. Now, uh, you can actually just select the quantity, number of contracts. So not quantity, the number of contracts. So for one contract, you had to pay a premium of like 0.6 USDT. Okay, so we personally are trading 200 contracts at the moment and we are in a loss of $6. Over here, here you can see what is the maximum premium uh, that we have paid or what is the maximum loss that we are going to take. It is $126. As I mentioned to you, so what we ourselves will be uh, interested in doing is, if at all ETH is actually bouncing, just delete this. So as of now, we are actually bearish. The reason we already ended before a breakout is because 
by the time breakout happens the premiums will spike pretty much also on top of that uh, we might even miss out our entries so we have already entered if it is bouncing back we convert this into a spread bear put spread so you know all of you are already familiar with the fact that when you are buying a put option you pay premium so in this case to buy this particular put option we paid a premium of like how much we paid a premium of uh, around 61 dollars okay so we paid a premium of like 61 dollars to enter into the contract now what is the maximum loss that we take as an uh, option buyer the maximum loss that we are going to take is going to be the premium that we pay now in order to reduce this particular loss so obviously there is nothing wrong if you buy a naked put option with an extremely bearish view. so for example right now we have is not extremely bearish i would say but if a breakdown is happening we expect a steep price in premium from 61 to almost 100 dollars however if you start getting or start developing a feeling that okay price is going to bounce up or maybe it is going to take some more time to break down and for you to exit at your break even you may consider selling an OTM put option that is for example in this case we bought 2800 you may consider selling the 2500 put option or maybe even the 2600 put option and receive premium so for example 2600 put option is having a premium of like how much yeah so the price right now is like 19.5 so you may consider selling this and receiving premium so that your max loss is basically reduced so here you are paying 60 61 dollars and if you are if you are kind of actually collecting like a 20 dollars over here effectively you pay just 40 so that is what we'll be doing next if at all we start developing a feeling that okay it is just not uh, going to fall down we will actually do that particular uh, spread barefoot spread where we sell the 2500 put option and collect some premium to reduce the maximum loss that we take from 126 maybe we'll reduce it to something like a 100 however if eth is making like a sharp fall so as per our view if eth manages to give a breakdown if at all ethereum usdt is capable of making a good breakdown managing to break below this particular uh, neckline the move would be pretty much steep and we get a good appreciation in premium and once again if we feel okay the moment is halting then we'll convert it to spread until and unless we won't do anything so we'll just hold on so some of you would be asking why are we not keeping a stop loss when we are buying this particular put option the answer is pretty simple uh, the risk that we had taken in this case is something that we ourselves are comfortable in taking even if the premiums are going to become zero okay and one more aspect is that until and unless this trend line is actually getting broken we don't uh, start developing a bullish view so we personally feel that eth has to uh, kind of manage to break out of this particular level to give some sort of a, a bullish uh, outlook to us and if that is happening then we'll maybe do some fresh bullish side positions so till then nothing we'll actually i hold on to this particular spread where we have a bearish outlook on ETS. so to conclude with so we personally bought the 2800 put option in eth with a bearish view expecting eth to give a breakdown so if it is not giving if it is just like consolidating then we will reduce our max loss by selling an out of the money put option where we receive premium and our max loss is being reduced okay uh, let's hope for a breakdown in ETH USDT. So let's see what happens. So I hope uh, you had some learning in this particular video. And even now, completely uh, new to trading cryptos. So it's been like just three months since we have been exploring it. And we are having like one particular setup that we use to trade in uh, ETH USDT. That's it. Okay. So I'll be sharing it with you through some learning videos. Hope you all have some good uh, insights from the same. Thank you.